They don't even know Christianity. الناس دي عندها كمية تسامح دول بني آدمين والله مصنوعين من مادة تانية. Which is the most persecuted religious group in the world today? It's Christians. The church is facing issues today that must be brought to the forefront. The message of the Antichrist will be universalism. He wasn't trying to create a big church. He knew what happened to those things. I'm sad to say that we live in a generation today that cannot tell the difference. The true Christ versus the fake Christ. The media have been reticent to call uh, persecution against Christians in the Middle East genocide. Do you have any thoughts on why that is? I do. It, it's been very disheartening in many ways. When you look at the Pew research, uh, obviously nonpartisan research that's out there, and they look at worldwide what's happening uh, with persecution of different religious groups, the Christian groups are the most persecuted groups around the world. The church in America is going to suffer so terribly. And we laugh now, but they will come after us. And they will come after our children. They will close the net around us while we are playing soccer mom and soccer dad, while we are arguing over so many little things and mesmerized by so many trinkets. The net even now is closing around you and your children and your grandchildren, and it does not cause you to fear. You will be isolated from society as has already happened. Anyone who tries to run for office who actually believes the Bible will be considered a lunatic until finally we are silenced. We will be called things that we're not and persecuted not for being followers of Christ but for being radical fundamentalists who do not know the true way of Christ which of course is love and tolerance. You'll go down as the greatest bigots and haters of mankind in history. They've already come after your children and for most of you, they got them. They got them through the public schools and indoctrination and the university and indoctrination. And then you wonder why your children come out not serving the Lord. It's because you fed them right into the devil's mouth.
And the fake Christ is being preached Sunday after Sunday after Sunday in the churches throughout this land and all over the world. And that's sad. That's very sad because the people are apparently are ignorant to the truth and therefore they allow this to happen. If the people knew the Bible and understood the teaching of Scripture, they'd throw these characters out in a heartbeat. And you're all wrong about that, man. When you say you shouldn't get angry. You shouldn't do things that upset other people because that's what Jesus spent his whole life doing. He threw the money changers out of the temple. Don't you think that made some people angry? Don't you think it was rude to walk up to somebody's place of business, smack them in the mouth, grab their table, and throw it out the door? True Christianity is being killed, cold, silenced, oppressed, and suppressed all across the world so that they can bring about the fake Christ, the fake Christianity, the universalist false messiah. How many churches are teaching that their brethren are being cold in the Middle East? How many people know that Christianity is the most persecuted religion on the face of this planet? How many people are being told that love means tolerance rather than sacrifice, loyalty, faith, and obedience? How many pastors are leading their flocks away, twisting scripture and tickling ears? These questions need to be addressed because before too long, no one will be around to ask them. And before too long, this will be the universal doctrine that all roads lead to heaven and that there is no hell. Meanwhile, Christians are being beheaded in the Middle East for not denying their faith, all while our culture tells us to accept and tolerate our oppression by those who seek to persecute us. Christians have the ability to deter the rise of persecution around the world, yet American Christians are bound by deception and convenience that deters our direction to aid our brethren. The Christian reality is that of facing persecution, oppression, and silencing, and it is by those that our faith is tested. Millions of Christians being killed for their faith in the Middle East stood the test of God and passed without recanting their faith. Will the American Christian do the same? Or will the American Christian be swayed by the drifts and whims of culture and progression? As Satanism takes root in our culture, Christians all across this land are blind to the reality that they are not attempting to live and let live. Rather, they are trying to remove the Christian from us and our children. Yet we sit idle and watch not from the tower as the true meaning of Babylonian ideology takes over our country and our world. This video was made possible because of viewer funding. Please consider supporting The Christian Truther. Go to christiantruther.com forward slash support for more information. God bless and carry on.